Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's class, we are going to see about two port networks. Where we are going to see Z parameters, Y parameters, ABCD parameters, and H parameters basics. So this particular class we are going to treat as class one, and we'll see the basics formulas involved with two port networks. We are going to consider these four sets of parameters and later on we will interpret our results with the rest of the parameters which depend upon these parameters. We will also see the interrelationship between one parameter with another parameter. So a two port network has two pair of terminals, one pair of input known as input port and one pair at the output known as output port as shown below. Here you can see a port is taken when you have selected as input port as V1 which is driving current I1 and you have port V2 driving current here by port 2 is I2. So you can you make use of either input port as input or output port as input. If at all you are using input port as input, the output port by default it will become as an output port. And if at all you want to go with the vice versa option, that is you want to take the input on the output port, then make, you can make use of input as the receiving network. So it depends upon different applications where you can see a two port network can be utilized in different ways. We have seen these kind of examples, especially in transformers, in electrical circuits, amplifiers, filters, and attenuators in electronic circuits, transmission line parameters in power systems, and these are the examples of two port networks. So, as I told you, we will include four sets of two port networks that is, open circuit parameters, which are also known as impedance parameters, short circuit parameters, which is also known as admittance parameters, transmission line parameters, which is also known as ABCD parameters and hybrid parameters which we will see the applications in electronic devices and circuits and their applications. So let us start with open circuit parameters which is also known as impedance parameters. They are denoted by alphabet Z where you can see you have input connections as well as output connections. So what we need to do? We have to take I1 and I2 as independent variables so that V1, V2 may be expressed as V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2 and V2 is equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. So this is a representation of two-port network in impedance form. This has been derived from the basics of Ohm's law where you can treat these two equations as 1 and 2. And in mathematical form or in matrix form, this can be taken as V1, V2 in terms of I1, I2 with the Z parameters as Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. So how we can get individually the values of Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. We can make use of equation 1 and 2 and we have to make some analysis in order to derive the values of these parameters. So what we are going to do? We will find out or we will determine the values of these parameters. If you open circuit port 22 dash, that is the output port, by substituting the value I2 is equal to 0, means what we are open circuiting the port 2 in equations 1 and 2, what we have seen in equation 1 and 2. So this is how the circuit looks like. You can see the output port terminal it is removed and when it is open circuited the current becomes zero. Though the current value is zero, voltage can be measured across the secondary port with the help of the current which is flowing in the two port network. So how do we do that? We will make use of equations 1 and 2. So I am going to get V1 is equal to Z11 I1 because I2 is equal to zero. So the term which is associated with Z12 I2 it becomes 0 and hence from equation 1 I am going to get V1 is equal to Z11 I1. 
and z11 will be equal to b1 by i1 at i2 equal to 0 and it can be termed as driving point impedance or open circuit input impedance. Now similarly b2 is equal to z21 i1 where z21 is equal to b2 by i1 at i2 equal to 0. This becomes forward transfer impedance. So you can see we have made use of equation 1 then we have substituted i2 equal to 0 and we have obtained two parameters that is z11 and z21 namely driving point impedance and forward transfer impedance. Now similarly we can open circuit port 1 and this is how the circuit will look like then the input parameters will be driving the circuit from the secondary side that is the output port side v2 and i2 and i1 is equal to 0 therefore we can measure the voltage across port 1 in this form because the current which is flowing in the circuit is i2 so based on this and substituting i1 is equal to 0 in equation 1 and 2 we are going to get v1 is equal to z12 i2 where z12 will be termed as v1 by i2 when i1 is equal to 0 as reverse transfer impedance whereas v2 will be equivalent to z22 i2 by substituting i1 equal to 0 in equation 2 we are going to get this particular value and hence z22 will be equivalent to v2 by i2 at i1 is equal to 0 now this becomes what voltage by current it becomes open circuit output impedance so i hope you have easily obtained the formulation of these parameters as reverse transfer impedance and open circuit output impedance let us go with the next parameters that is y parameters or admittance parameters they are also called as short circuit parameters see if the port is considered now we have to take v1 and v2 as independent variables so that i1 and i2 may expressed as i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 and i2 is equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 now this we are taken as inverse of impedance parameters so this is also you can say is being derived from ohm's law where current it is in the form of admittance parameters with respect to voltage now i am going to treat these two equations as 3 and 4 with this the matrix form or the mathematical form can be obtained in this fashion i1 i2 in terms of v1 v2 with the help of y parameters which is equal to y11 y12 y21 and y22 now how to obtain these individual parameters and how to designate these parameters we'll see now if we short circuit the port 22 dash you can see here the port 22 dash is short circuited by substituting v2 is equal to 0 v2 is substituted is equal to 0 in equation 3 and 4 and from equations 3 and 4, I am going to get I1 equal to Y11 V1 and I2 is equal to Y21 V1. Therefore, Y11 will be equal to I1 by V1 at V2 equal to 0, known as short circuit input admittance or it is also known as driving point admittance. Whereas, Y21 is equal to I2 by V1 at V2 equal to 0, known as forward transfer admittance. Now, similarly, if we short circuit port 11 dash and substitute v1 equal to 0 in equation 3 and 4, this is how the circuit looks alike. And v1 is equal to 0, but the current will be present in the circuit because it is having a connection. With this, I'm going to get i1 is equal to y12 v2 and i2 is equal to y22 v2. So that y12 will be equal to i1 by v2 at v1 equal to 0 known as reverse transfer admittance whereas y22 is equal to i2 by v2 at v1 equal to 0 known as short circuit output admittance so i think this is easy for you to easily determine the y parameters from short circuit analysis 
Let us focus on the next parameters that is known as transmission line parameters or ABCD parameters. For this, we have chain parameters which are also called as ABCD parameters which relates input voltage and current to output voltage and current and vice versa. Means what? You can see here V1 is equal to AV2 minus VI2 whereas I1 is equal to CV2 minus DI2. So you can see we have frame input parameters in terms of output parameters. So input voltage, input current in terms of output voltage, output current. So one is the independent variables and one is the dependent variables. And why this minus has come in this ABCD parameters, we are going to see when you are going to deal with only ABCD parameters. Likewise, you have to assume here that the dependency of secondary circuit it is completely depend on the primary circuit and that is why we are obtaining I2 in terms of input conditions and that is why the direction of I2 which is assumed to be flowing opposite way to what it is assumed over here and that is why minus sign is obtained here. We will see this in detail when we are going to deal with ABCD parameters. For time being you just consider this equation as 5 and 6 and we will make use of 5 and 6 in order to obtain ABCD parameters. In mathematical form or matrix form it is related like this where the T parameters or ABCD parameters are designated as ABCD and it is you can see it is multiplied with V2 and minus I2 on the RHS side. As I told you we will see in depth knowledge of this exact consequence when we are going to deal with ABCD parameters. For time being you remember this equation 5 and 6. And how to obtain these parameters? If we open circuit port 2 to dash, we have to open circuit this port 2 to dash by substituting I2 equal to 0 in equation 5 and in equation 6. I am going to get V1 is equal to AV2 and I1 is equal to CV2 where A can be obtained as V1 to V2 at I2 equal to 0 known as reverse voltage gain with output port open circuited whereas C is equal to I1 by V2 at I2 equal to 0 also known as transfer admittance with output port open circuited. Right? So A and C are obtained. Let us obtain B and D. For that we short circuit port 2 to dash by substituting V2 equal to 0 in equation 5 and 6. Then I am going to get V1 is equal to minus VI2 and I1 is equal to minus DI2. With this, the value of V will be equivalent to minus V1 by I2 at V2 equal to 0, known as transfer impedance with output port short circuited, whereas D is equal to minus I1 by I2 at V2 equal to 0, known as reverse current gain with output port short circuited. So I hope you understood these designations how we have framed based upon the conditions of short circuit and open circuit at the secondary terminals of two port networks especially for ABCD parameters. In both the cases you can see we have only altered the secondary side of the port that is the output port it is altered whereas the input port it is not altered it is fixed and output ports are varied in order to determine ABCD parameters. And finally, hybrid parameters, as the name designates, it is the composition of input and output and that is why it is hybrid in, in nature. These parameters are especially applicable in amplifiers, attenuators, especially electronic related areas. We are going to see the applications of hybrid parameters where you can see the in relation is between input voltage and output current, where input voltage is related to input current as well as output voltage from equation 7 whereas the output current is related to input current and output voltage from equation 8. In mathematical form this is how it is related V1 I2 is equal to the H parameters I1 V2. So how to determine H11, H12, H21 and H22 from equation 7 and 8 we are going to see here. So if we short circuit the port to 2 dash so when we short circuit the port 2 to dash and substituting V2 equal to 0 in equation 7 and 8, we are going to get 
v1 is equal to h11 i1 and i2 is equal to h21 i1. With this, h11 will be equivalent to v1 by i1 at v2 equal to 0 known as driving point impedance or short circuit input impedance. Now this is different from the z11 which is also known as driving point impedance but output port is open circuit. So that is the main difference between h11 and z11. I hope you understood this point. Now h21 will be equivalent to i2 by v1, i2 by i1 at v2 equal to 0 which is known as forward current gain with output port short circuited. So it's a gain parameter h21. Now if we open circuit port 1 1 dash and substitute i1 equal to 0 in equation 7 and 8, we are going to get v1 equal to h12 v2, i2 is equal to h22 v2 where h12 equal to v1 by v2 at i1 equal to 0 known as open circuit reverse voltage gain whereas h22 is equal to i2 by v2 at i1 equal to 0 known as open circuit output admittance. So this is how we designate h parameters with the help of short circuit and open circuit at output and input conditions. So this we are treating as class 1. That is the basics of two port networks and formulation of all the four sets of two port networks that is Z parameters, Y parameters, transmission line parameters as well as H parameters. I hope you like this video. Please share among your friends, subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.